<laughs> now let's see if we can see anyone's yeah. comments and invite Kevin. <laughs> Kevin is watching, sending the request. <laughs> See, it's my phone having a spot. Hi, Lorna. Hello. Hello. My phone's going. I'm going to piss you off. Are you Kevin? Hello, Mum. So your phone's having a spaz? Yes, my phone's having a right spaz tonight. I'm gonna go turn the volume down. Right, let's try this one again. I'm inviting Darren Stone yeah. at the minute. <laughs> right, which one did you have, Kev? The cake one. The cookie one. I think it's called waffle, isn't it? Deep fried cat. Um, deep fried cookie. cookie. No, it, it's one of the new ones, the rocket ones. Ah, uh, moon dog. No. Sputnik. No. Awesome waffle. That's the one. So you've got it's awesome either, waffle. What's Sputnik? I don't know. I'm just going by what it was just about. Because I've got a feeling it's the... Because it's meant to be a cake, but it doesn't taste like cake. No, it's a waffle. Probably waffle, then. It doesn't taste right. like that, either. Excuse that me. Really, really <laughs> I don't know who you need, what else? Here's to everyone. Hi, all. <laughs> Hi. Okay, right, we're back for the fifth attempt as my phone decided to crap out and wouldn't let me invite... Um, Kevin into the feed, so we hijacked Mum's phone. So, and Lindsay says, Hi, I can see you. Hi, Richard. Thank Yay. you, Hi, Lorna. Hi, Richard. Right. So, Rage Deloitte, we have two of these flavours, and Kevin has one of the back ones. Right, so let's try this again. We have Danish Swell, and we have Palm Mango. The descriptions read for palm mango, which is a pomegranate and mango, lovely, fruitly, delicious vape. Thank you, Lindsay. Danish swirl reads a freshly baked Danish mm. roll drizzled with sweet cinnamon topped with glazed confectionery sugars and melted butter. Now, I have been asked to mention we did pay for these two and Kevin obviously paid for his when we was at Expo after trying some of the juices. We have not been paid for this review. The review opinions are ours and ours alone. Hence why I have multiple people, different tastes, but so we can all pick up on different things. So, on the ENT and Goon, I have Danish Swell. And the Pom Mango is on my ENT. Kevin? I have it on the Rig V3. With my Tercardier with aliens in. Okay. So I've just got a standard 24 gauge Campfell build. Uh, four wraps come in at 0.17. And then we're going to kick you out in the back of the On a single cell mech. So I'm going to quickly go through the labels again before we crap out. Hopefully we don't crap out again. <laughs> so far, so good. So we've got all the warning notifications it's an 80 20 vgpg mix it's got expiry date the october of 2019 so you get a year on it if we flip round to the other side it goes through the warnings and it reads lovely and clearly do not choose if seal is broken dispose of in a safe and protected to protect the environment. If you are sensitive to any of the ingredients, please seek medical Kylie. advice before use. Hi, Kylie. Uh, Do not ingest directly. Ingredients are vegetable <coughs> glycerine, monopropylene glycol, I've done it again, and various flavorings. May contain nicotine. Hi, I have got nicotine pre-mixed in here. Hi, Janice. 
Fifth time going, had to hijack mum's phone because mine's playing silly buggers. <laughs> and we've got 11 bits. Facts number, I cannot, oh, I got one fault. I got one fault, Janice. Your batch number scratched off. I didn't check that before. <laughs> Nothing else on the label scratches off, just the batch number. <laughs> so if Darren Stone did a review, yeah, we're all okay, Janice. he'd point that out. But yeah, it scratches off. I can actually scratch all of it off quite easily. So <laughs> that's, that's, that's one thing I'd say that might need upgrading. The batch numbers come off. But uh, let's see if the date comes off actually. No. Yep, yeah, and the best before date. So the best before date and the batch number are actually scratched off. <laughs> but all the other labels quite tough. Nothing's coming <laughs> off that. Oh, she said. <laughs> hey. Oh. Yeah, that's a he. <laughs> Family name. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, it's um, it, it easy scratches off just the batch number and the best before date. I have tried these at Expo. I had quite fun and Ooh, quite a nice laugh with Janice and the other members. So um, it was great. I've got a few fair few photos, so probably some of you have seen. So let's get on to the Danish Hi, wow. again. Must so, and come back on. Danish well. Oh, it's JC. Sorry. Yeah. I haven't got my glasses on. Sorry. My head's not with me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, JC. After doing the, trying to get this review done a few times, it's done my nothing because my phone kept on spattering out mm. on me. So the first thing that eats you, well, the first thing I'm personally getting is like warm pastry. Okay. Yeah. The thing that stays on your tongue is like melted butter. Sort of reminds me of the melted lure pack butter on a piece of toast. Gimme. <laughs> <laughs> you lost that. Say, Confectionary glazed sugar, like on a lot of Danish roll juices I've tried, is overpowering. It's really subtle, mm. which mm. makes it Ooh. not a coil killer, in my mm. terms. Every one that I've had before in the past, with a lot of sugary taste to it, you get a few pulls on your coil, but about two hours later, it's all clattered. Hi, Kylie! I said that a while back. Yeah, well, I've only just in the comments. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he does like his rig. <laughs> but again it's like with some cinnamon juices that I've tried in the past the cinnamon overpowers everything you don't get the pastry wow. or it's too much of everything and that the easiest way to explain is you know when you go to Greg's and you buy the cinnamon Danish buns bite into a warm one peel off the big thick layer of ice and they slap all over it don't like that so you've just got the hint of sugar and warm it up in the microwave just so it's warm when you're holding it and bite into it and that's the taste I'm getting. That's good. Nice. That. Uh, Richard, no, I don't want to buy a Rig V2. Hello. <laughs> Excuse me. What's this? That's a Danish swirl. Oh, no, you don't. I'm paid for that. That's mine. <laughs> I might share some with you. Okay, that's nice. I share. <laughs> no, that's really nice. <laughs> I'll share that one, but I ain't giving it all away. That one's too nice. <laughs> that's how nice it is. I pinched it. Save so, some for me. Yes, I'm actually. Okay, sure. we'll sort it. <laughs> so, I picked up a pom mango for the other half. Hi, Damien. As everyone knows. Oh, two for thirty pound, Mum. What up? Fake delights. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry, it's two for 30, 30 pounds, yeah. code Fake Delights 30. Okay. Thank you for that. <laughs> Thank you. So with this, as soon as I got told it had mango in, it was, yep, that's one for the other half. Hi, Damien. So 
I picked up this one. Now, Sorry. to be honest, wasn't my first impression of mango. Oh. I was sort of expecting juicy, but then I realised there was pomegranate in there, which explained the taste that floods your mouth. So, without further ado, pom mango. That deal is putting on for all 80 mil bottles. Before Damien gets really confused. <laughs> yeah, Dave, I've hijacked Mum's phone. And I've got her phone. <laughs> now, the first thing that hits your tongue, surprisingly, consider it's listed pom mango, is the mango hits first. Really <clears throat> juicy, ripe mango, as if you've just bitten into it. Nice. And it's like an explosion of juices right across the palate. Then on the exhale, you get a sweet, smooth palm granny just to make your mouth water just that bit more. Really makes you want it more. And it actually tastes better on an RDA than when I tried it in the tank at Expo. <laughs> so personal preferences. I'll let you know, Lorna. For myself... <laughs> I'd say I prefer it better on an RDA because when I tried it, I got more pomegranate at Expo I than I oh, did I on the mango. Yeah. <laughs> Is this another you one that's going to lose? No, that was Darren, so you'll have to fight in for that one. <laughs> Just to point out, we didn't mix the nicotine in the pom mango because Darren was too over keen to try it. As you can see, Hi, Thomas. he's vaped a fair bit already. Thomas works on love. Hi, Thomas! Bonjour, Chrissy. I'm Mama. <laughs> <laughs> Loving my Bonjour. new... Thanks for my mm -hmm. cat. Um... And thanks for the picture, Tom. <laughs> I was down at the Endless store today. <laughs> yeah, we know. <laughs> I do get mango first. I get both of them. Eating me both sides. So you describe what you're getting, because obviously it's different taste right. buds. This is what we need to explain to everyone. I'm getting mango and the pomegranate together. But there again, I love pomegranate as well. Oh, as mango. I like pomegranate, but I find too much of a sweet pomegranate. They say no oversweet. Sort of attacks my teeth, which is why I struggle with a lot of sweet baits. No, this is not oversweet. <laughs> just for a, just for an opinion on this, she doesn't normally use Mex. Don't like them. So look, got my V one on the go today. Um. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll be down in May as well, so we'll have to grab another picture, Tom. Right, I'm getting the mango and the pomegranate together but the pomegranate lingers afterwards when you get to lick your lips, but it really makes your mouth water. Now, I find licking my lips, I get more of the cinnamon from the Danish swell. No, I'm on about the mango one, you don't. Know. But with the mango, the pom mango, should we be yeah. crazy, Sorry. is the first thing that hits my palate is the sweet, juicy taste of the mangoes. I got both at the same time, but there again, I love pomegranate on its own as well. So. But they're all really, really smooth to vape. And yet really I've are. got one with nicotine in and one without, and they both are the same. There's no nasty throat hit. No. Unless you're on a mech and you're not used to them. <laughs> and that's me. Can I get rid of the ripples? Uh, Ethan, we're on a live, please. I don't know if Mum's coming all three days yet. Yeah. What's on? Awesome. Oh, so oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, then, Tom. <laughs> so hopefully going three days Kevin, describe what you've got bearing in mind, just before Kevin starts on this one in his suitcase he did actually split the original bottle because he had loads of vape stuff in there so he had to re-bottle his vape delights and he did pick up one of the new batch on the other side the waffle one it, what taste are you getting from that? Custard. Like creamy banana? No, nope, just pure custard. <laughs> it's the waffle. Hmm. It's the waffle. I don't know because he's saying he's just getting like custard and I can't remember what moon dog. 
and maybe spice. it might be. I think it was meant to be the birth the cake flavor, which is the. Uh, I think it was solace. It was it solace. Yes. Yeah. No, I'm not sorry. It was meant to be. A, it was meant to be the birth the cake flavor, but I think because the bottle that I've used was. The M4, oh, there you go. Is put up that it's the banana cream if it tastes custody, custody, and the other one's Moon Dog, but because uh, you've got the new one. Yeah, I think it might have been Moon Dog. I got uh, because I'm, I'm not hundred percent sure, but I think it might be my own fault because I put it in a bottle that had custard in previously. It's picked up the flavour of what. So what are the flavours? What are the flavours are you getting? As as you think, you may have mixed it in with a bit of tiny custard. Butterscotch. <laughs> Butterscotch. Yeah, because it smells. It had, from what I can smell, it smells like the Turkish blend that I had in there. Which I washed the bottle out and everything, and it still smells the same. <laughs> so I think I might. Do you have just Probably, but we can always we can always sort out some more. It's... You describe what you're getting from it. Well, I do get a cakey taste. There is a cake in there, but I. It's waffle. Was it the awesome waffle? Do you think? Yes, it was the awesome waffle. No, because I only tried one juice at the expo from them, and it was their cake. Yeah, the so, waffle. And it was a black bottle. The waffle. So whether JC could t say, tell me, because it was a... Oh, black bottle. Yeah. It black, was a black bottle. What colour was the liquid? Oh, amber. Yeah. Yeah. By the so... sounds of it, you've got Sputnik. Yeah, Sputnik. No. Yeah, so, but... Well, obviously... anyway. But, yeah. You should have kept the bottle. It would have been easier, I think. <laughs> but it's split. So I weren't going to keep a split bottle. I, weren't thinking, I didn't know we were going to review. <laughs> yeah, you never know with us, lot. Well, I've got a whole basket full to go through, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, it, as you were saying, it's a really smooth vape. I'm not getting any of... Excuse me a minute. The, like, some nicotines that you add ah. to them. He's just said the blue one is Sputnik. So if it had a blue label and the yeah. orange label would have been the creamy banana. Yeah, it was uh, Sput Sputnik because it was an orange label, if you remember. No. Yeah, but for me, a lot of when I vape, obviously I vape a lot of juice all the time. <laughs> uh, we you know. can see that I've gone through quite a lot of this already. This I've just I've managed to save this much for the I review. Uh, but it is so Moorish. Hi, Jeanette. So, mum's got my phone, you see. <laughs> yeah, it's such, it is actually really Moorish. So that's why I had to put it down. Because I was running it on my stacked before, yeah. Yeah, I remember you saying you was going for a fair bit of juice in it, yeah. It clouds. <laughs> yeah, it's oh, an 80 like... 20 mix, that's what the car's for. Yeah. Uh, so oh, the awesome. orange one's uh, Moon Dog. Yeah, it is Moorish. It's Moon Dog. I like it. Well, the sounds of it, you've got Moon Dog as a. Just uh, orange one is moon dog. Yeah, laugh. orange one is moon dog. Laugh out loud. It is Moorish. So you've got moon dog. Okay. Hmm. Oh, it's really nice. <laughs> no matter what. So first impressions of it. Could you use it as an all day vape? Yes. <laughs> I have. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Would you go back and buy it again? Yes. Okay. 
Would you order it online if need be? Yes. Right. That's as bad as us then. <laughs> well, for me, uh, the two I picked up, bearing in mind I picked up the Pom Mango for the other half because he's a big fan of Mango, I would definitely buy these two again. But I'm also planning on trying, where is it, where is it, where, the deep fried cookie and fruity mama. Ooh, that sounds Ooh. nice. The cookie because ones. them are the other two that really caught my taste buds off guard. Because I was expecting a real maple syrup, yeah. and it wasn't. And it just popped in your mouth. I was like, oh, I want more of that. And I was stood there for a while. I was vaping loads of them. Whereas I only vaped the one because I tried it, and I was like, oh, I have a bottle of that. <laughs> oh, no. When I try stuff, I have to try them all. Oh, oh no. Bought it, so that's a recommendation on its own. But I think the next one for the other half will probably de be the deep fried cookie because he's a big fan of cookies and cookie dough ice cream. Uh, what's the other one? And yeah. Fruity Mama, uh, Fruity Mama, a smart blend of amazing of eight fruits in one delicious vapes. Now, I got do orange in it, I love touch my it. fruity vapes. No, it's not <laughs> a citrus one. Oh, that's all right. I didn't taste citrus when I tried it. I, it's the orange. It don't be the orange. It don't matter about any of the citrus. It's just the orange in it I couldn't touch. Well, as Jace, uh, Jace, Jace is uh, here. Um, in Fruity Mama, is there any citrus like orange, orange please? It's only orange I'm worried about. It's all right because that's the only thing Mum can't bake because it, it plays havoc with the stomach. Orange does. I really like that Danish one. <laughs> no, no orange. See, I oh, like... I can try that one. Then. <laughs> Thank you. you. You've just met her day. Harry, <laughs> <laughs> do you want to give your opinions on these two? They're really nice. I know you're not a big fan of cinnamon. So this it's is not overpowering cinnamon, though. It's not in your face. Danish swirl. <laughs> this is baked the lights, Danish swirl. <laughs> Now, just for the record, Terry hates cinnamon. Okay? Lorna, it's deadly. It really is nice, hon. <laughs> I'll have to get Lindsay to bring you over to mine and you can try it, bub. Or we'll meet up at um, or the, we'll meet or the at shop. Or we'll one of the days. Or we'll meet up at the shopping centre or something. But you can definitely try some. <laughs> What do you think? Well, that one's actually quite nice. I don't do cinnamon. No, I know. What's you the don't. first thing that hits your taste buds? Cinnamon, but it's not overpowering. It's like a subtle cinnamon. Yeah, and then what's next? What's. Because you're sort of chewing your mouth around at the minute, so I'm sort of. He's had peanut butter sandwich, that's why. Peanut butter. <laughs> 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 um. What's the next thing that comes across? Can I get like a pastry? Hit like a really buttery pastry. Yeah. See? Really quite nice. Now he was out for the description reading. <laughs> <coughs> I don't actually like that one. And I don't do cinnamon at all. No, I know you Ooh. hate it. So there's a big compliment. For someone like that, that hates Jason. cinnamon, right? He loves your Danish well. So <laughs> let's see Terry's verdict. On pom mango. Pom mango, Tess. Oh, excuse me, people. I like the sound of that. Mmm. Don't you? I like mangoes and melons. And I and like watermel the apple. Watermelon is my favourite. <laughs> I've got a fair few. Different types of watermelons. That one's a honeydew. I've got various different watermelons from all over the place. <laughs> I'm going to have to put that watermelon one to the test now now I, know, now I know there's watermelon what, in it that's strawberry, it. the two different strawberries, melon and apple Ooh. so that's combination of you, me and Terry together <laughs> Daz likes apples apples and strawberry mm -hmm. so that's going to be three of us we're going to have to get some to send down to Kevin to it I want to know he likes strawberry as well yep 
Yeah. <laughs> but I don't do melon. But try it just the same. I don't do orange and stuff, so... <coughs> Can I ask if you're going to be returning to Expo in May? Because I tell you what, we'll definitely be coming back to say hello. You are. Hello? <laughs> we better find theirs first. I want to go and buy some more. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so if you're at Expo, we have first point of call to stop up at your store. <laughs> So, Terry, what did you think of Pom Mango before you totally disappear? Oh, Pom yes. Mango is nice because I was getting a hit of pomegranate on the intake and then a nice, slow, smooth mango so was all coming out. It's actually quite nice. I do like that one as well. Yes, they are. Mm. Nice one. Really we'll be there. Nice. Cool. We'll come by and see you then. <laughs> Definite. So, has anyone got any questions of the three flavours? We have reviewed tonight. Yeah, have some freebies. Behave me, Stan. <laughs> oh, Chrissy, ask if there's any questions. I was talking to the members. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, you one person you haven't asked is behind us, Darren. Oh, you're not in the mood. I can't. He's a bit stressed <laughs> out today. Chelsea Garner. Hi, Chelsea. Hi, Lisa. <laughs> um, no, as I stated at the beginning of the review, you look on a question. These are what we bought from Expo because we stood there talking to the whole family. And I do say family at Vape Delights because they're a lovely bunch to talk to. I really enjoyed spending the time with them and trying all the different juices. <laughs> Damien, yours is on the site. Um, the code is Vape Delight 30. You can get two 80 ml bottles, right, for £30. So go down the pin post, go back down to Vape Delights, hit the link. Damien's gone low. He's winding you up. <laughs> <laughs> go and get yourself some. <laughs> Trust you, Damien. <laughs> yeah, this is not going to last me long. Now it's, now it's been mixed. It's going to be vape. Right. That's it. It's gone. Not before you've got this long. It really isn't going to last long. That's why I hadn't mixed it till tonight. It's like, yeah, I know if I mix that, that's going to be gone. It's, ah. <laughs> Who's putting angry faces? Damien. What else are you trying to um, love? Janice Love. Uh, Jazzy Love. I have a fair few to go through. We could end this one. And start another one. And start another one. What do you think? If you want us to start <laughs> another one, hit the like button. No, they're all on angries. Oh, yes. I remember that. Yeah, it's just a bit <laughs> angry. And we got a few likes. Start another one. <laughs> Lorna, we might do another oh, one tomorrow. Doing? How about we do one tomorrow to give everyone a chance to get some sleep? <laughs> Plus we've got kids to sort out this end. I think I'll do... I've got a fair few vape wild ones. I think we'll do them. No worries, JC. And we will definitely see you at Expo in May. Yep. So, I want another uh, bottle. <laughs> I want more than one bottle. I'm green. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> okay. So we're going to say goodnight on this live feed. And we will be back tomorrow with a Good vape night. wild juice review. Yeah. Because I have a fair few to get through. So, so good night from her. And good night from you. Yeah. So, bye, everyone. Bye. <laughs> bye. Bye, Kevin. Bye, Kev. Yeah. Good night.